What's going on? My name is Praetorian. Welcome back to another episode on the Guild Rock server. I've been doing a bunch of work in here. I took out all of the grass and uh, I've got to add some details, maybe some bushes in the corner or planters for flowers or something along those lines. I'm not really sure yet. Back here on this back wall, I had originally thought that I might use this area as like a crafting area and maybe make like a little forge or something like that. I think instead I might put a fountain right here on this back wall and have exits to the outside on either side of that fountain. I think that might be pretty cool. And then we can use sort of this back area here where we've got a whole bunch of space as um, build maybe like a separate building for a forge or a little blacksmith or something somewhere I can do all my crafting and stuff back here rather than actually inside. I think that might be more aesthetically pleasing, so I think I'm probably gonna go with that. Today I want to go ahead and finish the interior of our build. Um, the downstairs is largely done. This is just sort of like an art gallery thing where we can hang paintings. I will add some details to the open areas here, maybe some like wither skulls or flower pots or something like that. I'm not really sure yet, but we'll add some details here. So it's not quite so boring and um, that'll add a little bit of color pop as well. Upstairs though is completely unfinished at this point. So this is what I'm going to work on today. But just before we head upstairs, we're gonna go ahead and take one more look around the foyer because I have done a ton of stuff. I've got some flower planters over here in the sides, uh, on the sides as you walk in looking all super fancy. I've got some, some beautiful quartz uh, sort of um, ponds, I guess ponds, basins, I don't know, some water features on the sides with some faucets, the water's coming down. Uh, those are on both sides. This side has got the, this, this is technically in the swamp. So it's got the gross swamp water and, oh, oh now I'm jumping in it. Yay, swamp water. And <laughs> it's the same side to side. That side has nice water. This side has swamp water. Maybe there's something in it. I don't know what's going on there. Back here, we've got some more flower planters just kind of separating the main foyer from this back area. And then I built this absolutely beautiful. I am loving this fountain. I think it looks fantastic. You can't really build statues on this small scale. So I used a uh, armor stand complete with a full set of netherite armor, no big deal. And uh, we've got just some stained glass um, panes that kind of go all the way down here just to make it look like there's a flow of water i didn't want just like a giant three meter wide or meter wide flow of water coming out i wanted to use something a little bit more delicate we've got a couple tropical fish in here looking all super fancy and this trap door right here we're going to use that for something later uh, i'm not going to spoil this surprise for you though you're going to have to stay tuned to find out for now, I do think that I am officially done with this foyer. I think it's looking fantastic. We've got a little bit of greenery in the corners, front and back. Uh, I may add just a couple more leaves kind of under the uh, overhang here, but um, maybe not. Maybe we'll leave it just the way it is. I think it's looking, I think it's looking really nice. It is uh, now full up and complete. The gardens are all done. The fountains are done. Uh, we are looking good. So next up, upstairs. Let's get some interior up there. What am I going to use for a floor upstairs? I think that's a real question that I've got right now because I don't, I don't know that I've got an answer. I, uh, I started putting one together, uh, in my creative world, but do you know, I don't know that I'm all that, all that fun of it. So I'm going to have to go ahead and start from scratch. I also don't really know how wide these hallways are going to be because we've got some weird spots here. Um, maybe, maybe it's not so bad. What if I grab, see, maybe I'll grab some spruce wood, which I think I've got down here. Maybe got down here. Hello. Hello. Spruce. spruce there we go. All right, let's grab some of this. We'll go upstairs and put in like rafters to start and see kind of where we end up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Oh, so that's, it'll have to go above that level. Also, I definitely need a floor in here. Ugh. All right, floor first. 
I wonder if I just use the floor from the portal. What I use in that? Snow and something. Snow and something. Oh, black concrete, maybe? Powder? Black concrete powder? Oh, straight black concrete. What is this? That's white concrete. Okay, so just white and black concrete. I mean, I guess I could do that. And then maybe, I don't know, add some detail later or something. It's a big area for just black and white. And plus, I want to add more color in, right? Because we had talked in the last episode about how colorful these interiors should be. Like in here, this is this is all kinds of bright and colorful and whatnot. I want to do the same thing for upstairs, and I think that's appropriate. But <laughs> what do I use for it? I guess I could do some wool. Would be all right. Let's go grab a couple stacks of wool and see what that looks like. What are you doing there, guy? You just, just hanging out, having a good old time. Well, you can stay here if you want. I will call you Bobby. Bobby the Frog, welcome home. So I've got the side walls figured out here and we've got a couple little alcoves in here that I can use for bedrooms or I don't know something. These spots here I think I'll use for 
uh, candles to get some lighting in here so we're not just relying on torches because you know how I feel about torches. Um, so I think I'll do lighting here, maybe, uh, I don't know, some sort of a decorative item. And on these, the, the front and back wall. So that side I've got stairs, so that side is probably fine. Maybe I can do something on the sides of the stairs. But back here, it would have just been like straight um, deep slate tile. And that would have been a whole lot of just deep slate tile. So I got to figure out something for this wall here and maybe these alcoves on the side. I think I'm going to put like little reading areas over here, uh, bookshelves, a couple benches kind of thing. Mm, maybe some plants. Plants are always good. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get back to it. All right, so I think that side looks pretty good with just a couple cutouts like alcoves, um, nothing too detailed. I may, I'm gonna dress up the walls a little bit, add a little bit more texture than um, just the deep slate tile. But otherwise, I think the walls are pretty much done, I think. But these, I think, look pretty good. On the side with the stairs, there's actually space on the sides of the stairs to do this, but um, the, st the stairs themselves are in the way. So I can't actually put one on this side and it would look kind of a little funny if I only had one there. So uh, for now, this side is just gonna be deep slate tile next to the stairs, but I think that's okay. I think that works out okay. I think Bobby's run off. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where he is. I'm sure he'll turn up. It is going to be some kind of nice when I've got a, a uh, maybe not a sorting system per se, but some way of storing these items other than this catastrophe I've got going on. This is terrible. I can't find anything. <laughs> Benny? Benny, is that you? No. How did you get on the... What are you doing up here? Get off the roof. And where's Benny? Look, it's not that nice up here. <laughs> get down. Damn it. Benny? Not Bunny. Bobby. Where's Bobby? You're not Bobby. You're an imposter. Get off my roof. Oop. I got off the roof instead. Fine. <laughs> Stay there then. Bobby? No. All right. I think I'm about done here and I am excited to show you guys what we've been working on. So let's go inside and we'll take a look top to bottom and I'll show you guys around. All right, you've seen most of the bottom here. I don't, I haven't really changed much. I did add some additional fish in these fountains here. Uh, so now all of the fountains have fish in them just to keep them occupied. And it's never, never less than two. I think, you know, fish have to have friends too. So we've got all the tropical fish all throughout here. I think this, uh, this bottom area, this foyer is looking absolutely fantastic. It is beautiful, uh, super fancy gardens. Super fancy flower beds, super fancy fountain. Uh, everything just looks really, really nice. I am digging it. Going through the first level, I haven't changed anything here except that <laughs> I had those paintings here and then I would log in and the paintings would pop off the wall because the chunks wouldn't load completely. And I don't really know why it was happening, but I just, I, I stopped putting them back. So there's no paintings here now. They haven't popped off the wall in some of the area, the other areas, so I've left them there for now, but uh, most everywhere else is just flowers at this point. Now we'll go upstairs here, and uh, I think that we are about done. So this is looking really, really good. I'm super happy with it. The only thing I'm not really sure about is these banners up here. Let me know what you think about this. I added them to add a little bit of extra color pop. Um, but I'm not sure if they fit, so you let me know what you think of those in the comments. In two of the corners, I've got these other little fountains. 
I, I, I am absolutely loving this stained glass coming from the levers. It kind of looks like they're faucets uh, dumping a slow stream of water in here. And I, I love the way that looks. I think that came out really, really good on all of them. And in the opposite corners, we've got these little sitting areas just for, you know, sitting, reading a book and relaxing, so on. And then in each side, we've got these little bedrooms and, you know, not a ton of detail, just enough to make sure, you know, it's it's a bedroom and we get some end chests and stuff. Um, but that's just a place to sleep. That's really all that is. Uh, I may put up some railings around this. I really couldn't decide on a style, so I don't know. I may, I may not. We'll see. And uh, another, uh, and of course, this one's in the swamp as well. So we've got swamp water over here. <laughs> we've got nice water over there. Uh, it's a thing we're having to deal with. Um, yeah, so I think this is looking fantastic. I think that we are about done. I probably will add a little bit of texture on these walls. I haven't done it yet, but for now, I think we're going to call this project buttoned up and our starter home finally finished. I don't know what episode this is, 12 or 13 or something. Um, but you know, we've got a place to live now. We've got a place to sleep and it is absolutely beautiful. I am loving it. Guys, I am dying to hear what you think of this build. Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content just like this. And I'll see you next time.